this demo video, I'm going to be going over redirects and how to set up redirects for a website migration from maybe a previous provider now onto Sweet Commerce. And this will walk you through one of the key components, which is setting up redirects. If you don't have a redirect and your URLs change even slightly, then they'll generate a, a bunch of 404 page not founds. And if you don't resolve that and Google's already crawled your website, your SEO will get damaged. And if customers or people within your organization already have an old URL, it won't redirect them to the new one. So always making sure that you're keeping up to date on your redirects. Maybe make sure that you've got Google Search Console already set up on your existing website domain. And then that way it'll catch whenever there's a found page at 404. So you can just export out of Google Search Console and then import into NetSuite. So let's go through what a redirect is inside of NetSuite. To begin with, we're gonna go to Commerce and we're gonna go to Hosting and then Redirects. So let's just click here. This is where all your redirects are gonna be. You cannot do a mass export of redirects. You can do like a bulk delete, but not an export from out of NetSuite. However, you can do an import of redirects. So if you're in the middle of a website migration and change a lot of URLs, you can simply use the CSV import tool in order to bring in all the redirects from what you had before. The other way to perform a redirect is to just go into Commerce Hosting to Redirects New. And all you need to do is select what your domain is that you're using for the website what the old relative URL is and what the new relative URL is. We created a 404 not found right here. So on one of our data management for item records, we accidentally created a page not found when we changed the URL component. And this was the old URL component where it's a page not found. So let's go ahead and bring the old URL and make sure that whenever someone lands on this URL, that they always go to the new one which has a dash two in it. So let's copy and paste this in. And then I'm just gonna copy and paste this one more time and then without the two, and we're gonna save this. Now, when anybody goes to this domain where it's ag.sweetbuddy.io slash XLR precision circular saw, they'll be redirected to this URL. Let's go test this out. Now we just clicked enter and it immediately redirect us. So let's go one more time. I'm going to remove it, click enter, and it redirects us to the correct product detail page. This is really important. So make sure you have good practice and you're always updating your redirects, not only just during your implementation, but also throughout managing your website whenever you change a URL component. Now we also want to know how to do a bulk import of redirects and just get a little better at it for people that may get confused. So we're gonna go back into Commerce Hosting Redirects, and we're gonna do this import. Now we're gonna do some imports on just maybe a few URLs just to start with, so you can get an idea on how the mapping would work. All you need within your import file is your from URL and your to URL, because you can create the, your, the domain that you're gonna be using within the mapping process and set it as a static option. And I'll show you what I mean here in a second. To start with, we're gonna create our CSV import record so we can drag and drop it and select it in here. Okay, now we have our Excel document and we just have the relative from URL and the relative to URL. We're gonna all redirect it to the same URL in this use case, but we've changed the from URL one is saw blade, saw blades with an S, and saw dash pro. So let's use this as our sample file to import. Now let's go ahead and select our file. We have it in a CSV format on how we saved our Excel file, so it'll populate in here. And we can continue to the next step. At this point, we need to do our mapping. So these are our from URL, our to URL. Those are our columns in our Excel file. And now we have to map them to the fields over here. So we're gonna do drag and drop over here, as well as the two. And then we're gonna do the 
from URL. It's going to say that we need to have a domain in there. So it's going to push the domain. And rather than me dragging and dropping it in, it's telling me that I have to have that. All right, that's fine. We'll select that. But in our CSV file, we don't have our domain selected at all. So we need to go ahead and make sure that maps to a static value. So let's go ahead and select this, where this is the default value is ag.sweetbuddy.io, which is the correct domain. We're going to click OK. At this point, we've got those three from URLs and three to URLs using the AG Sweet Buddy domain. And we're going to run this. We're going to refresh this. It'll go pretty quick. Three imported. Let's go back and validate it. And now we do see that there are three more redirects in place from the CSV. They're all going to that correct to URL. And let's go ahead and just test one of these, this pro one. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to press enter and it should go to the circular dash two. There we go. It's going correctly. And that's how we do a CSV import for redirects.